Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing not the Nintendo Switch, but the Nintendo Switch backpack that came out about a year ago. Uh, a week ago was my birthday and I got a Nintendo Switch. I wanted this for a very long time and I'm very excited I got it. But with some of my birthday money, I decided to buy the backpack because I'm going to Washington DC in a bit. I might do vlogs for that. But I just wanted to get a backpack to hold it and look good while holding it. So I have the backpack with me and I'm going to show it all to you and show you how the Switch stuff fits into it and everything it can do. So let's get it out. All right, here we have the Switch backpack. It's much bigger than I expected it to be, which is good. Usually stuff is smaller than you expect it to be, but um, it's a good size. Um, it's about the size of a backpack you bring to school, and it's um, it is officially Nintendo. If I can't I can't find the card, but um, oh, there we go. It is officially Nintendo. And it's nice. It can hold up to six extra Joy-Cons, um, so you can have eight in total, and you can hold your dock, a uh, Pro Controller, or a Plus Controller, or just the controller the Joy-Con slide into, and it's got a lot of pockets, so let's open it up and I'll show you where everything goes. So the front pocket, if you can get it open, you see your switch goes here, so I'll get that switch in there to show you guys. You can easily slide your switch in there with the Joy-Cons velcro it up and then over here there's room for six extra joy cons or three sets of joy cons um and here's where your controller goes and all the way down here let me get flash on in here that's better all the way down here in this corner is where the dot goes so also i'll show you what a, you can just put the um screen in here without joy cons so i'll show you that now the switch screen is safely in there and my two Joy-Cons are held up there. And I'm going to have friends with me in D.C. who have Switches. So they'll be able to put their Joy-Cons in there. And, sorry, and their Switches down here. So over here is where you can put the controller. So I have the one that comes with the Switch to show you guys putting it in. So let's get that in. Now this pocket is obviously meant for a Pro Controller or a Plus Controller. But it, if I fit my um, Switch Joy-Con controller in there. And the last pocket to show you guys in the front um, slot is the dock one, so I'll pop my dock in there to show it to you guys. The dock fits in pretty nice. I like the look of it in there. And so, yeah, here is all the Switch stuff you can put in the first pocket. There is some extra room down here. So, I recently got into these Zelda mangas. I actually ordered the Majora's Mask one with this backpack. And if you want, you just slide one in there. And boom, it's going with you. But I'm not putting that in there for now. So let's check the next pocket. Up on top, you have a little place where you can put your phone or your camera. So you turn the flash off and slide it in. And that's pretty nice. So over here, after you have a place for your phone or camera, there's a place for your headphones. So I'll show you guys that. So I have my headphones in there, which is good because there's a bus ride to DC with a bunch of people and I'm sure they don't want to hear me playing my Switch, so it's a good thing to have that. There's also lots of room in this pocket and really nothing it could bump into you, so I think this is the best pocket for storing extra stuff. I think in this pocket, I almost likely you could keep a laptop. I don't have one, but if I did, I could keep it in there. You put your DS in there, more books, and our food. Uh, anything you can need really so that's the second pocket and this one looks pretty good and it can hold a lot of the stuff last pocket we have is right on the front and this one is has a little pouch for your games I'm sorry you guys the flash you can't really see the symbols with it on but even if it's annoying you wouldn't really be able to see it without it so here we have the front this pocket right here where you can put like your wallet or your phone or something and um, this pocket right here is where your games go, so I'll show you that. So I have Mario Kart slid in right there, and that's pretty good. And um, yeah, I can probably fit a couple games in there, so that's nice. And you'll have lots of space. And if you're someone who keeps the games mostly in the cases, you can also just slide the box in there and zip it up and just go. So this is the backpack. Um, with everything in it. It looks really good and I'm glad I picked this one up. 
it's nice um it's usually fifty dollars i got it it's on it's currently as the time of this video is being posted 40 on um amazon and sorry about the flash that's getting annoying even to me and sorry i got interrupted for a second but um yeah it's really nice and the only problem i would say is it literally says nintendo switch everywhere which isn't bad because i like that but the problem is if you live in a big city or you have to leave this somewhere this like basically advertises to the world that you have a switch with you and that's an expensive thing and a lot of, i know a lot of people can't afford them so it might get stolen but it's a good backpack um i like it and um i recommend if you have an extra spare fifty dollars that sounds dumb out loud but um if you do uh i would pick this up if you're a big fan of the nintendo switch i just got it so i can't say i'm a hardcore fan but it's great i love this backpack and i'm going to be sure to use it lots of times so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you